Hello, welcome to CWI Part B Practical Book of Certification Lecture Number 8. Today I'm going to give a lecture about Chapter 2, and this is going to be the last chapter, uh, last lecture for the Chapter 2. Last time I stopped it. Table 1, I explained everything here. And Today I'm going to uh, talk about this table 2 word profiles C2.3.1 which the sentence says see this table 2 table 3 and figure A and figure B and fig table 2 says group word and fillet word and we have this table 2 has a column of butt joint, T joint, left joint, corner inside joint. So group word is the figure A and schedule A. For the fillet word is figure B and schedule B. This is the table two. And table three is word profile schedules. Again, C2.3.1. Schedule A, as I said, Schedule A is the group word, and this small t, small t means thickness of thicker plate joint for CJP, complete joint, completed joint penetration, and also this small t, the lowercase t, can be throat size for PJP. PJP means partial joint penetration. So this is CJP is full penetration and this PJP is partial joint penetration, not a full penetration. The thing you need to know in this table 3 is this T which is here and R, minimum and R max. R, R stands for Reinforcement. R is the reinforcement, which is called crown in chapter 3. So, reinforcement is like this. Here is the cross section of the word month. This is base matter, base matter, BM. BM, and this is word matter. The reinforcement means, uh, let's say this is outside, and here is inside. And from the surface of the base matter to the top of the word matter, distance of here is the reinforcement. And this is outside, so this is called external reinforcement. And same thing applies here from the bottom of the plate. The distance from the bottom of the plate to the top, top of the uh, word mount. This is reinforcement, and this is inside, so this is called internal reinforcement this is what it is the reinforcement meaning of the reinforcement and this is the condition t t column is the condition of the thickness less than and equal to 25 millimeter reinforcement minimum is zero and reinforcement maximum is two millimeter and bigger than 25 millimeter and uh, equal to 50 millimeter and great, uh, smaller than 50 millimeter, the reinforcement maximum is 3 millimeter. And greater than three, uh, 50 millimeter, the reinforcement maximum is 5 millimeter. Okay, let's say this is 50. Uh, not a 50, 55 
millimeter then this reinforcement acceptance criteria is five millimeter because here the last section says bigger than 50 millimeter the reinforcement maximum is five millimeter so more than five millimeter is rejectable reject not acceptable but let's say assuming thickness of this is 50 millimeter this side and right side of the base metal thickness of the base metal and on the right side is 65 then acceptance criteria for the reinforcement here is according to this lowercase t thickness of thicker plate joint for CJP completed to joint penetration so thicker thickness of the base matter applies to the acceptance criteria of the reinforcement so 65, 65 which is more than 50 millimeter so maximum reinforcement is 5 millimeter so acceptance criteria is 5 millimeter 6 millimeter of reinforcement is not acceptable but 4 millimeter of the reinforcement is acceptable this is table 3 for schedule A schedule A which is group word and schedule B the fill up word W is rips of the word phase or individual surface bid C means lower convexity convexity is the, as like a word convex so this is convex and this is concave and this is just flat word convex convex not acceptable the whips for the whips of the fillet word uh, 8 millimeter equal to 8 millimeter and smaller than 8 millimeter the convexity maximum is 2 millimeter so the maximum convexity is here to here the C is 2 millimeter for 8 millimeter and less than 8 millimeter and for 8 millimeter small uh, bigger than 8 millimeter tier 25 millimeter less than 25 millimeter the convexity maximum is 3 millimeter same thing applies here so this is table 3 and here in table 3 what you need to focus on is this schedule A because this schedule A reinforcement question is in the actual question of CWI part B the problem the actual question example is something like here so you have this kind of group where the plate is given to you and it's asking about the measure the reinforcement at G5 and thickness of this part the left side and thickness of the right side are different something like 50 and 65 then you apply this acceptance criteria just measure measure the reinforcement here by what by free weight gauge free weight gauge here so measure the reinforcement like here and read the reinforcement if the reinforcement is less than five millimeter uh, i'm sorry reinforcement is more than five five millimeter that's reject but uh, smaller than five millimeter that's accept this is how you measure the reinforcement and how you solve this kind of question table three 
okay this is important and figure A is just a configuration and profiles of the group word this R means reinforcement so reinforcement here or max R unacceptable word and figure B is fillet word configuration and profiles concave convex convex but this is un unacceptable okay this is chapter two the workmanship requirements and visual inspection acceptance criteria for structural steel chapter two is over so i'm gonna stop my lecture here today and next lecture will be about chapter three workmanship requirements and visual inspection acceptance criteria for pipeline thank you for listening to my lecture and i see you next time